My name is David Lloyd Bradley, and I am professor of art at PVCC. I knew Warren. I, I began teaching at PVCC in 2000, and, um, and he and I had uh, many conversations about ceramics and the, the artwork that he and his wife had collected over the years. And, um, and so when, uh, when I brought Juan Casada to the campus, uh, um, Warren was very excited at the opportunity to meet Juan, and Warren um, uh, attended the workshop and purchased this pot uh, right after it came out of the fire, and uh, was so so thrilled that uh, he was able to acquire that particular piece for his collection. I have the distinct honor of talking about a, a ceramic pot made by Juan Casada that was created at PVCC in 2002 when Juan came to the college to give a workshop in pottery making. Juan Casada was born, uh, grew up in a small village in northern Mexico called Mata Ortiz in the state of Chihuahua. And um, today Mata Ortiz is internationally known for its pottery that was inspired by ancient uh, pottery made over a thousand years ago throughout this region by the Casas Grandes people. Uh, when Juan was a young boy, he would um, go into the mountains around the village and collect firewood to sell to help his family. And in the course of these expeditions, he would uh, come upon ruins of the ancient people and including artifacts in these ruins. And among these artifacts were pieces of pottery. And he was very inspired by these pottery pieces to uh, learn how to make his own. And this was in spite of there not being anyone available who could teach him what clay looked like in the ground, how to prepare it to make pottery, how to form a pot, how to finish the pot, how to paint the pot, how to fire it. He, he learned it all himself. And uh, in, by the 1970s, he was in his 20s and had a wife and children and was, was working a variety of jobs, working on the railroad. He, he pursued uh, boxing as a career for a short time, and still making pottery um, because he enjoyed it. And uh, he would make a few pots, and after firing them, he would bury them in the ground for a while to give them an aged look, and then he would sell them or trade them for goods to the traders who would come to town occasionally. So sometime uh, in the 70s, an American anthropologist by the name of Spencer McCallum was traveling through New Mexico, and in Deming, New Mexico, he visited a, a thrift store uh, the, by the name of Bob's Swap Shop. And among all of the, the junk items in the swap shop were some of Juan's pots. And Spencer immediately recognized that these were beautiful objects but also that they were not old. He could tell that they were recently made. And so he bought the pots and he began trying to find the maker of the pots. And he ended up at Juan's door in Mata Ortiz. And they entered into a relationship um, where Spencer would pay Juan $200 a month, which was enough for Juan to support his family so that he could devote all his time to perfecting his pottery and taking it as far as possible. And Spencer would come every month to pay him the money and collect whatever pots that Juan had made. And eventually Spencer had enough pottery for an ex exhibition in the United States. And he would, he, he, he toured this exhibition across the country, getting the attention of collectors who began coming to Mata Ortiz to buy more of these beautiful pots. Um, that relationship lasted two years, and from there, uh, Juan was able to make a living, making his pottery, and 
uh, he did a wonderful thing. Instead of keeping the, the knowledge of pottery making for himself, he taught his brothers and sisters and his fellow um, townspeople how to make pottery, saying, this is a way to take care of your family and not have to do menial labor. And uh, Juan went on to receive many awards for his pottery. He was awarded the, um, uh, uh, the, the top award given by the Mexican government to an artist in 1999 um, for his artwork. And, um, and like I said, today, um, Mata Ortiz is known nation, internationally for its beautiful uh, pottery. And so I had the privilege of, of inviting Juan to come to PVCC to give this workshop in 2002, where he created this pot. 